Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Right now in Hollow Atoll, it is 10.35 a.m. on Friday, October 2nd, 2020. Island Superstar Dale, oh Isabel, oh, is also celebrating a birthday today. Happy birthday! Now for additional announcements. We have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big Hollow Atoll welcome to Bunny. Congrats, Bunny. I'm sure you'll enjoy island life here. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. Oh, Isabel, you're too kind. Hello, everybody. How's it going? It has been a hot minute, not only since I sat down to record one of these Animal Crossing New Horizons videos. Oh, hey, Chester, what's up? Hey, Professor Pie. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Come with me and don't ask why. Okay, looks like this is the birthday event. So just to, to clue you guys in, I've never seen the birthday event in New Horizons before. Um, so I kind of wanted to, to get my first reaction of it because I hear it's quite different to old games. Or older games, I should say. Oh, we got Blair and Wolfgang in here. Happy birthday! <laughs> uh, we've been waiting because we want to celebrate your birthday with you, Professor Pie. Okay, now hit A to blow out the candles. Oh, breaking the fourth wall. Oh, it got dark. I can't turn the camera. Okay, I can do this. And a big old huff puff. There we go. There we did it. Look at me go. Oh! And uh, party poppers, of course. Oh, and the lights are back on. That's cool. I like that green lamp. <laughs> Happy birthday, Professor Pie. You blew them out in one go. Everyone's wearing green as well. This is, this is quite strange. Do they think that I like green? Except for, well, I guess Chester's wearing blue. Unless green just happens to be Wolfgang and Blair's favorite color. I can't really remember. You blew them out in one go. Now it's time for us to give you our presents. <gasps> we brainstormed it together. Hope you dig it. Ooh. Okay. Um, I didn't brainstorm. It sounded kind of scary. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Here you go. Okay. What's in it? A surprise. Open it later when you have time. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Actually, we do have one more present for you today. I'll go and get it ready. Chill right here. Okay. I want some of that cake. Whoa, what? Ta-da! Look up! See that piñata? We made it! I think I, it came out real good. Even with me helping. <laughs> Your present is inside it, so take this and use it to crack that piñata open. Okie dokie. Got a big old wax stick. Let me know when you want to get smack in that piñata whenever you're ready. Oh, we just walk underneath it. Strange, I want to talk to Blair. I warn you, that piñata is extremely well made. I should know, I helped with its construction. Acorns. We made this piñata just for you, and can't wait for you to bust it open. Can I sit down on the couch? Don't mind me. I've just got to talk to her. Gotta talk to my friend. Oh, they're just staring at me. <laughs> yeah, I'll get into some more updatey stuff in a second once this uh, event is over. All right, Professor Pie, time to do this thing. First, go stand under the piñata. Okay. Piñatas don't break with just a tap. You gotta hit it real fast. Can I eat it? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you can eat whatever's inside, Chester. Whack it over and 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 over. Just like it's a watermelon. Or a piñata. <laughs> Chester. You ready? You set? You go! Smack. 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 That's a spirit bash it good. Smack it. Yeah. Yeah, mess it up. Come on, you can do it. Smack it. Work it. Yeah, don't just tap it. Work it. You can do it. Go for it. Swing! I'm trying. You can do it. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Go for it. <laughs> oh, the cupcakes! Good stuff. You did it. What was inside? Wow, there were birthday cupcakes. Oh, that's how you get those cupcakes. I mean, it makes sense, the birthday cupcakes. <laughs> Here you go, Professor Pie. It's your birthday cupcake, present to you. Sweet. We made a bunch, so you might not be able to finish them alone, Professor Pie. I mean, I could eat them all, but I think the others would be happier if we shared them with them. This would be the perfect time to insert his catchphrase, can I eat it? So, did you have fun? Kick back and take it easy for however long you want. Can I eat it? Chester, if you want, you can have a cupcake. Okay, what's in the present? Birthday candles! Oh, cool! Sweet! Thanks, guys! I mean, I've, I've got to look at Wolfgang. Wolfgang's just having the time of his life. Actually, they kind of all are. Wait, what are they whistling? They were, they were whistling a tune then, and I didn't see what it was. And by see, I mean here. Um, yeah, so I'm, I am going to leave, even though they are sort of blocking the door. But Actually, you know what? Let's talk to them real quick. Birthdays are so mysterious, aren't they? I mean, it's always someone's birthday. The world is like in permanent birthday mode. Crazy. It's kind of true, actually. I'm not great with party planning, but I was glad to pitch in for this. 
Nothing is too good for my pal. Oh, I'm so glad that Wolfgang and Blair came here because those are like my two favorite villagers at this point. Today, Dale, you're one year older and one step closer to adulthood. Excuse me? Oh, don't worry, sweetie. You wear your years extremely well. Oh, I mean, thanks, I guess. <laughs> Leaving already? Today was really fun, wasn't it? We'll do it again next year for sure. All right, that was the birthday event for Animal Crossing New Horizons. How about that? So, yeah, it's been a hot minute since I sat down to record one of these videos, so I may be a little bit out of it. Um, happy birthday to me. It's always nice getting to celebrate with good cake and good friends. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so what happened was, you know, three and a half, four months ago, I kind of ran into a little bit of a snag. Um, and it's not that I got burnt out of... Oh, presents. I guess I'll take these ones. I'll leave the ones from Jay because I... I don't want to save that for <laughs> for opening another time. Do you remember when we first met? Of course not, silly. But it was on this very day. That's not cause to celebrate. I don't know what it is. Happy birthday, mom. Thanks, mom. Yeah, I'll save those for uh, <laughs> for uh, checking out offline. But yeah, um, I ran into a bit of a snag. Couldn't really record or stream anything. Um, and then I, I sort of oh cake. I came back to streaming. Ooh, strawberry. I like strawberry cake. I came back to streaming about a month ago, um, but it just didn't feel the same to carry on um, the sort of like the daily recording uh, aspect of this series. Um, happy birthday. Oh, celebratory birthday boy, birthday girl. 2000 Nook Miles. I'll take it. Happy birthday to you. Take some Nook Miles. Woohoo. Happy birthday to you. Take some Nook Miles. Woohoo. Get yourself something nice. Thanks, Nook. I guess that's a, a gift on you. Um, yeah, I didn't feel right coming back to recording, uh, doing the whole daily thing, because I skipped so much. Like, um, I missed out the whole of July, August, and yeah, I sort of came back in September. Um, so if you do want to catch some more Animal Crossing content, definitely, definitely catch the live streams, twitch.tv slash Dazaban, link in the description as always. Um, but yeah, I think what I'm going to be doing from now on is I'm going to be doing basically what I did with Animal Crossing New Leaf, with that game, uh, when I sort of did content on that you know, six or seven years ago, however long ago it was, I sort of got up to a hundred days of doing the daily thing, and then I just switched to doing a sort of like a live video like this every now and then to show the update and the, the progress in town, because a lot has changed. Let's just take a look at my map, and that way I can flash my dream address on screen. So guys, you can come and visit the, the dream of Hanu Atoll using the code 0594 that's my uh, Animal Crossing telephone number, apparently. You can see as well all of the different villagers we've got now. Um, I think the new ones are just Antonio, Punchy, Flo, and Bunny. I think you may have seen me getting Antonio, but yeah, as you can see, the island has changed a lot, and I kind of want to go over that today. Uh, and the other reason why I haven't really been doing any other videos um, is I, I kind of ran out. <laughs> I kind of ran out of ideas to do, like, after the whole success of the, the Blue Rose videos, and I did a couple of, like, hybrid guides and gardening stuff, and, uh, like, uh, the Impossible Tree Glitch video, and the, the Mimi, um, Snorkel Mask video. I kind of just ran out of videos to make, like, stuff like that, I don't know. Because there's people like, there's, there's, uh, crossing tubers like, uh, Mayor Mori that get the, the update videos up as quick as possible, and stuff like that, and sort of predictions and, and rumors and stuff like that, which is all cool and everything. And then you got your Abdalas that do literally everything as soon as possible. And then you got Tagback and those sort of YouTubers that, you know, steal ideas and <laughs> just take videos and give no credit. I'm just, I'm not salty about that at all. No, not at all. <laughs> Still waiting for that update on my phone that lets me do the, um, the emotes. Um, use my phone. So yeah, let's, uh, let's walk you through town and show you what's changed. Uh, Punchy now lives here instead of Shep. He's got a very lazy yard. Um, I think it fits him quite well. He's got some overgrown weeds. Got a little bit of a lawnmower back here, which is sort of boxed in. Because clearly he doesn't take care of his yard. Got some of the full update stuff. I love this leaf campfire. It's amazing with the marshmallows. Oh, I've never had campfire roasted marshmallows, but yeah. <laughs> uh, if we head down south here, you may have caught a glimpse of uh, Antonio's house. Antonio is the new jock in town uh, after Kevin left. He's got a barbecue. He likes grilling on the beach. He likes pumping iron, of course, and uh, chilling and just uh, watching the waves. Uh, this is the first time I've ever had someone just live on the beach, and we managed to squeeze his house in here quite well, and he's got kind of like this 
uh, you know, props to Neo, Neofoia, for showing me this, um, uh, this, this trick with the half tile stuff, the half tile furniture that can go on the, the very ledge here. Oh, it's amazing. I love it. Uh, so we kind of managed to use the, the dried bamboo as a sort of pseudo fence. I really like how it turned out. And of course, we can still run along the whole beach and fish, and we can even make it up to the bridge here, which is great. Moving on, the botanical gardens. This is what happened yesterday on stream. The botanical gardens are no more. So my big plan for this area was always to have it as um, like a, a little bit of a, a seasonal update garden, you know? You can walk through and it'll be what was new for the, uh, for the season. So this area right here is currently my little pumpkin farm. My little pumpkin patch, whatever you want to call it. It is a work in progress. Um, I've got these all laid out in groups of sixes so that I can easily come along and water them. So obviously if you water the pumpkins, you get more, which is great. I think I've got 48 pumpkin plants here, which is probably not going to be enough. <laughs> but I do plan on trying to get like the biggest yield possible. Again, this is very much a work in pro- This is very much a work in progress. One second, hang on. There we go. This is very much a work in progress. Um, <laughs> because I do have a couple of bits of furniture, actually, which I ordered yesterday to, to go in here. And of course, I do want to decorate this with the pumpkin stuff as we unlock it, because I managed to get four recipes yesterday and one duplicate pumpkin recipe yesterday um, just through playing, um, just playing this, the game on stream, which was great. So this fortune cookie cart right here, this is actually going to be a hand cart, a little wheelbarrow. Because again, it's kind of like, this is a farm. I wanted this area to be not so themed, but this would be sort of like a, a working farm type thing. And I think I've got the lantern which goes on here, because I wanted it to light up at night. And then we've got just a little area. Let's turn that on. Is that on or is that off? That's on. Oh yeah. So we've got a little area to craft. Um, and uh, yeah, so I, I also thought we could do some apple trees because, you know, it's Halloween. We can do some apple bobbing. Uh, and then the, oh my goodness. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll show you guys this, this other area from, uh, <laughs> from the town entrance. So the town entrance has stayed pretty much the same because I love it. Absolutely. Oh, there you go. Oop, yeah, we, we'll ignore that. The town entrance is probably like my new favorite part of town. This is, oh, it hasn't changed. Oh, it has changed. Oh, never mind. We'll get back to that in a second. There's so much to show you guys. What the heck? So this area right here is completely black. KK Slider is here on Friday? Oh, birthday song. Cool. I, I thought he'd be here on Saturday. Dang it, I thought that was going to be another recipe. <laughs> um, so this area here, what I wanted to do is basically make it an extension of the town hall plaza. Uh, and this is going to be another sort of like seasonal thing that's going to change with the seasons and the, the in-game holidays. I want to create sort of like a um, almost like a, a big events plaza. So the idea is that we're going to, to theme this out based on the holiday. So of course it's Halloween. That's why I've got the purple and the orange windflowers over here. Um, and and put stuff down that would like be related to that holiday. So we're gonna decorate it with some gravestones, you know, make it all spoopy. Um, <laughs> like I said, I wanted to try and set up some something that looks kind of like apple bobbing. That's why I've got this this kettle bathtub, which I know I, I thought maybe could work as as apple bobbing. And then I was like, okay, what if we use this um, old-fashioned wash wash tub, um, which would look great as apple bobbing if it didn't have any clothes in it, you know, the, the rags, the sheets or whatever, and the washboard. You know, if it was just the tub, that would be perfect. That'd be fantastic. Uh, but what I might have to do is end up going with either this wooden bucket or the tin bucket, which already has some water in it, so who knows. Uh, but yeah, we're going to set up some some of the themed furniture in here and like I said this is very much a work in progress because it's only two days old and it's mostly just the old area ripped out um, but yeah that's that's the plan for this area and I think I'm going to try and replace this corral fencing with the pumpkin fence when I have it uh, so moving over here this is of course is where Antonio's house used to be so it is currently gone uh, Bangle is still in town which is awesome we now have Flo in town instead of Kit. Uh, her yard is also a work in progress. I, I literally just removed everything that was in Kit's yard. And, um, and yeah, yeah, I mean, I just removed it and I haven't got around to decorating Flo's yet. Over here, uh, this used to be, actually, I forget who used to live here. This used to be Celia's house. And then Hippo moved in. Three weeks later, Hippo left. Thank goodness. 
and yesterday I went on a little bit of a villager hunt. A very quick one, very easy. I don't look for specific people. I just look for villagers that... She's already wearing the Dazabound hat? She's like my favorite villager ever. She... <laughs> she's not even unpacked yet, and she's picked up some hashtag Dazza merch. What the heck? Uh, yeah, I just sort of look for villagers that I think I've never had before, that I think look cool, I think fit in with the vibe. I saw... Oh, we nearly took Eric. I would have taken Eric if I didn't already have Chester and Punchy. Let's say hi to Bunny. Took your advice. I bailed on everything and everyone I knew. I moved here. I live here now. Walking distance from your house. You, the only person I know here. We're going to talk so much. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. So yeah, Bunny has moved in, which is great. Uh, who else has moved in? I think I've gone through all of them, to be honest. Yeah, it was just Flo, Bunny, uh, Punchy, and... Oh, there's Flo. Uh, Punchy and Antonio. But I think you caught Antonio at the, the end of... Uh, bef before I took my break. So, I'm coming back over this way to show another big part of the town that's updated. Uh, I don't think you guys are ready for this. Uh, but the cafe... The cafe is gone. Um... <laughs> <laughs> this is now Museum Island, I guess. The idea here was to go for something similar to like a a stately home kind of vibe with the hedges and the, the roses and have a couple of exhibits outside. Love these lion dog statues outside. I think they fit so well. And the stone and iron fences at the back. Oh, it works. It works so well. So I really like this idea and this look, but the island I think is a little too small for it. So I think what's going to happen is when Chester and Walt finally move, or one of them move, and I take away the, the secret bamboo grove, in fact, let's head there now, um, I think that's where I'm going to move the museum to and have a bigger, like, stately home vibe going there. And then we'll move some 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 villager onto the island. Uh, Shep's house is no longer here, so I did a lot of river reconstruction. I moved the river south a bit, and I moved Shep's house away, and this area turned out really cool. I really like this area. Moved Chep's house over here. He's got a little bit of yard. His his house sort of exterior remained pretty much the same. Um, we've got like the uh, the what's it called uh, natural garden stuff out here. And he's got a little tree because of course he's a dog. This is his bathroom. <laughs> Other than that, he leads a pretty simple life. But outside, I wanted to make the walkway to the uh, the bamboo grove a little bit more obvious because what happened after I removed. Oh, after I moved the river, because the river came to about here, it was super close, and I, I wanted to move everything down, um, mainly because of uh, where the bridge is leading to this back area here. Um, yeah, after I got rid of the museum, I wanted to, to expand this, this bit of land. So I, every time I came out of here, I kept just instinctively going left, because that's what I was doing for so long. So I wanted to make sort of like a, a bit of a, a more obvious pathway, so I threw a couple of trees down, threw a couple of bushes in, this area worked out really well for a bench, and I thought, okay, what can we use to decorate it? Well, we've got some stones, you know, this, that is a zen area back there. The Stonehenge fits perfectly here. I kind of don't like how you can't walk in there, but this area, I really like this. This area is cool. I like this area. <laughs> the Jacob's Ladder, sorry, Jacob's Ladders, heck, that's it's like 15 years of Animal Crossing embedded in my brain. The Lilies of the Valley, Lilies of the Valley or Lily of the Valleys? What's the correct plural? Who knows? <laughs> Maybe it's lilies of the valleys. There you go. Um, <laughs> yeah, they, they sort of tie this area together really nicely. So, yeah, the other part of town, which I can show you guys that has changed a lot. As you can see, there's a lot to go through. So the whole idea is that I wanted to move the river south because the area behind the town hall, I really struggled with using that area. So I was like, okay, what if I just put the river there instead and just... You know, uh, that way we'd have more area on the other side of the river to do stuff with that actually makes sense. So at the moment, it's kind of being used for flower storage here because I got nowhere else to put them. I tried to clear up all of my beaches, um, and I'm also, as you can see over here, how on earth did I? Oh, ooh. I'm also doing another little bit of a flower experiment. Uh, these are going to be the final flowers, um, and this is the process. So there will be. <gasps> A video about what I'm doing here and what I'm trying to achieve once I've done it. Um, so yay, new flower type video. <laughs> Hope you guys are looking forward to that. I'm most certainly looking forward to what you guys think about it. It's not going to be anything groundbreaking, don't worry. 
It's not going to be like, oh, new fast way to get blue roses in three days. Boom, done. Yeah, it's just a, a little fun thing to do if you so desire. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much everything that's changed here on Hanu Atoll. Everything else is pretty much the same. Wolfgang still has his little hideaway cabin over here, which I love. Um, I've managed to to remove the perfect amount of trees from my island so that I still have five star. Like if I if I plant one more tree, I'll go down to a four star island, which sucks because I love the overgrown foresty vibe, especially up here in the north of town where we've got all of these cedar trees. It just means that I can't have as many trees in the south of town. But yeah, the campsite is still the same. Um, which is awesome. I love this. Blair's house is still the same. Still can't do anything up there because I can't use another ramp, but that's okay. I kind of like how that's sort of just natural up there. Blair's house is still the same. She's still got the very same minimalistic, you know, she can just chill out and do a little bit of a sunbathing, I guess. Do squirrels sunbathe? <laughs> Don't think they do. And the hidden bamboo grove is, <clears throat> excuse me, also the same. Uh, so we've got Walt here still and Chester. I think Chester at this point is my my longest remaining villager. Oh, oh, there is one last thing that's changed. One very small part of town. Um, and that is... Oh, I need to replant these bushes. I never did. Oops. That is over here. I started setting up a little bit of a... I don't know, like a hidden beach party area. It's not really much of a beach party. Just a, a beach hangout spot. So we got a little fire pit. This is apparently 96,000 bells. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me how. But I love these type of things IRL. I love just sitting and chilling with people around a fire pit. It's just so cozy. So comfy. Um, and then I figured, you know, this is quite a nice inspirational area to do some some painting. So you know, you got your you got your watercolors, paint a nice, you know, it, it kind of looks like that island off in the distance, doesn't it? <laughs> so I think that's gonna wrap us up today, guys. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. I am not gone. I am not dead. I'm going to be making Animal Crossing New Horizons content when I can find out what to do and when. Um, you know, it's just kind of difficult at the moment because I've kind of run out of ideas. It's not that I'm burnt out of the game. I still love playing the game because the game is just so open, you know? It's not like New Leaf when you, know, you just plant some flowers down and some trees and bish bash bosh done. You, you've got a whole island that is constantly changing and evolving as your decorating skills and styles change and evolve, you know? Every, Half my town is unrecognizable compared to the last time I did a video, so yeah, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. But if you would like to catch me live at twitch.tv slash Dazabound, you know, I'm currently streaming every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Uh, that's Animal Crossing, 4 p.m. here in the UK, and also on Mondays. I sometimes stream on Mondays too, but we do Pokemon because it's Pokemon Days. Currently playing through Pokemon Heart Gold. We just made it to Kanto. Sabrina kicked my butt. <laughs> Uh, but other than that, twitch.tv slash Dazabound, you know, catch me there every week. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. I most certainly enjoyed the birthday celebration. And I will see you all in the next one. Toodle pip. Bye bye. Don't think I can get there. Watch this. I'm watching. Look at it. He's slowing me down. I'm watching. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> he launched from like here. What? Did you see? Do it again. Do it again. <laughs>